Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of The Good, The Bad and The Bitcoin. My name is Dirk Hartig, I've been a trader and investor for 25 years and on today's episode I want to talk about the number one requested topic from you guys. Scalping, how to scalp the markets and actually earn some money with that. Now what is scalping? Scalping by definition is a technique where you utilize lower time frames such as 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minutes or 30 minute charts to capture small moves, to scalp small moves of let's say a couple of pips or a couple of US dollars out of a market. Now scalping in general is in my opinion one of the most difficult tasks out there. Why? Because you are in direct competition with all the uh, fancy algorithms and trading bots that banks and hedge funds and investment firms like to utilize nowadays. <laughs> However, if you bring a little bit of patience to the table, in my opinion, it's still possible to earn a bit of money with scalping. And on today's episode, I want to show you a setup that, in my opinion, shows you when to enter the market and when to stay out of the market with a very, very good success rate. As always on my videos, I'm going to use TradingView for charting and for applying indicators onto charts. Um, I'm using the premium version of TradingView here. However, everything I'm doing here, you can as well also do with a free version of TradingView. So if you haven't signed up for an account with them, uh, go into the description of this video, go into the pinned comment, you'll find a link to open an account. So maybe you can then follow me along. All the indicators we are going to use here on our charts are also freely available thanks to the great community out there that TradingView has, where a lot of very talented people, a lot of very talented coders, um, generate and create uh, really great indicators absolutely free uh, to use for you. So the trading strategy I'm going to show you here um, is going to be based of 15 minute charts. Why 15 minute charts? Because uh, I want to find a balance between uh, the noise that one and five minute charts uh, have to do. So you'll have a lot of candles on one and five minute charts that really don't tell you anything. But I still want to you know, stay in the lower time frames uh, to make sure that by the end of the day I can close my position, that I don't have any overnight risk, so to say. So I'm going here with a 15 minute charts. You might as well try the strategy, of course, also on one minute charts or five minute charts. However, be aware then uh, that like it is always with, with scalping, the lower the time frame is, the more the spread you pay to enter a trade the spread is here the difference between how you can sell currently an asset and how you can buy an asset and if the spread for example is 1.5 in euro dollar be prepared that on entering the trade on exiting the trade you're already down by three pips anyway i'm going to apply some indicators here and the first two indicators are maybe some you already know very well because i've been using them for a while now on my videos These are the so-called fear zone uh, contrarian indicators by Zyaman trading. So the fear zone and the other one is the greed zone. Let's apply those first. And what these indicators do, and they do it in my opinion very well already, is to highlight zones where the market currently is a little bit oversold. So for, uh, where fear is um, too high in the market or on the opposite where greed is too high in the market. And you can see here, this is the move that we had yesterday after the release of the US inflation data, the market already here before that showed sign of, uh, of too much greed here. So that would have been by itself a very good signal. However, just because, just with this indicator by itself, I do not think it's really possible to uh, have a great trading strategy. However, we want to use that uh, today to find zones of confluence with the other indicator I'm now going to apply to the charts, which also is from Zayaman and called pin bar and bloom pattern concept. So going to apply this one also to the chart. Now I want to go into the settings here of this indicator, scroll all the way down here and remove the hook here at precision pin bar pattern. So I'm just interested in this bloom pattern indicators. What this indicator does now is uh, it gives us signals 
uh, in terms of a red hook pointing down for cell signals like you can see or a green arrow pointing up like we have here to show us um, buy signals. However, notice here one thing, of course, although like the fear and greed indicator, it kind of captures nicely some zones here where the market then goes into the direction of a signal. There are also a lot of times where there are false signals. Now, now we want to filter those signals and we want to look for areas of so-called confluence. What are areas of so-called confluence? Let's look at an example here for euro dollar uh, where I think a good area of confluence was reached. So this was on the 29th of January around 4 p.m. for 15 uh, CET. And what we had here in euro dollar where you can see that is uh, according to the fear zone indicator, we had an area where euro dollar was a little bit too fearsome, a little bit oversold. And then in addition to this, we got from this pin bar and bloom pattern indicator a long indication. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about confluence. So I want to look for, um, for areas of a chart for times when I get shown, uh, when I for long signals get shown that the market is currently in a state of being a little bit oversold, so to say and an indication that probably by the pin bar and bloom pattern that we are going to have a breakout to the north. And you can see in this case that worked really very, very well. So we would have entered the market here. We could have held onto this trade all the way up to here where we then entered according to the uh, greed zone indicator, a price range again where the market was too greedy. And all we need to do uh, then is to find a good stop loss so we would put the stop loss a little bit lower than the candle uh, actually is. You can see this trade had a risk reward ratio of 2.4 already. <laughs> so these are exactly the trades on the long side we are looking for. Let's look at another example here also from Euro dollar where we again had a zone of uh, two, where the market was in too much fear down here. So this was in the early morning hours of the 31st of January. And the pin bar and bloom indicator printed a long signal. And you can see really the volatility breakout to the north came again. So again, this a great, great trade. So again, here a great trade where you could capture, if you put the stop loss a little bit low, a risk reward ratio by of almost three. So this brings you in the nice situation that you need to be just correct at uh, below 40% to still earn money or not lose money. Um, you can see how it works very well. Let's look at another example here uh, by uh, an Aussie dollar. And uh, I want to show you this example because it, of course, does not always go by the book. You can see again, we had an area here of fear in the Aussie dollar and we had the pin bar and bloom pattern along signal printing. And really the market took off almost immediately after the signal. However, in this case, um, we couldn't have held on to the trade until we reach a zone of too much greed uh, because we would have waited, waited, waited and probably still be in the trade or most likely be stopped out of the trade. So one thing that is important here is that once your trade has moved into your direction by maybe 10, 15 or 20 pips to adjust your stop loss, also to break even here to make sure you do not lose money anymore with trades like this. Um, another thing I want to show you, it's really, really important that you are patient and that you wait for so-called confluence. So confluence meaning where you uh, have a zone of fear or greed and then get a signal by the pin bar and bloom pattern uh, indicator into the opposite direction. Because if you just trade every signal that is printed here, so this one is a good example for this. Yeah, sometimes it still will move into your direction, but very often we can see that here, it's like signaled somewhere in no balance, it moved a little bit in the direction, then immediately went down. So you want to be patient really, and that's the beauty of it. You can apply this, of course, to dozens of charts, so you don't need to only trade euro dollar and wait for signals there. You want to be very patient here and wait until you have these patterns of confluence where the market really shows you Yes, 
There is a zone of too much fear. There is a long signal printed or contrary. There is a zone of too much greed and then a short signal printed. Works very well from, in my opinion, especially on so-called Forex pairs or everything that's a bit more a ranging asset. Why is that? Because those ranging assets, they tend to stay within a quite narrow range. If you apply it to uh, assets that tend to be trading, like stocks, for example, or Bitcoin, be prepared to have more false signals. Important, as always, you have to use a stop loss and don't go crazy on leverage. Although, from my experience, this is a trading setup that generates uh, signals with a high level of confidence. Of course, there is no guarantee that every trade will uh, be a trade uh, that makes you money. So you gotta always be prepared for the worst case scenario that you could lose some money. That's it already for today. I hope you enjoyed our small <laughs> venture into the world of scalping. If you did so, uh, consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel. I publish new videos about trading and investing every week. If you're interested, I'm currently building up a Discord community as well, where I plan to not only share my development on an automated trading strategy, but also give you guys a daily outlook uh, at, the, in my opinion, most interesting charts and what is really going on out there on the market so you can save some time and maybe concentrate also on other things outside of trading. Until we see each other again, happy investing.